story time. Hello everyone, I'm George Buxton. Guess what? It's time for a story. In fact, four stories. And we're going to start things off with the original This is the Bear by Sarah Hayes, illustrated by Helen Craig. Now, when you hear this sound, I'm Fred! So that means that this is called Fred the Bear, by the way. A bit like Fred Bear in principle, except he's much more saggy baggy, even though he's not. Anyways, oh, and before we start with this story, now, now I may have not used no hair bear anymore uh, after the fourth series of Family Bear, but anyway, these stories are the perfect tribute to my old childhood toy, no hair bear. So, are you ready? Here we go. This is the bear. This is the bear who fell in the bin. Oh, Fred! This is a dog who pushed him in. Oh, no! Oh, dear! Ruff, ruff. This is the man who picked up the sack. Oh, this is perfect! <gasps> Fred's in there! This is a driver who would not come back. Stop! Stop! Let's go! This is the bear who went to the dump and fell on a pile with a bit of a bump. Ouch! This is the boy who took the bus up to the dump, please, and went to the dump to make a fuss. Find my bear! You must be joking! This is the man in an awful grump who searched, oh, not here, and searched and searched the dump. Not there! This is the bear, all cold and cross, who did not think he was really lost. Here I am! This is a dog who smelled the smell of a bone. Yum, yum! And a tin. Watch this. And a bear as well. Hello, Fred. This is the man who drove them home. Oh, I must be mad. The boy, the bear, and the dog with a bow. I'm a chap. Good dog. This is the bear, all lovely and clean, who did not say just where he had been. A little trip. This is the boy, who knew quite well, but promised his friend he would not tell. Don't tell. I won't. I will. And this is the boy who woke up in the night and asked the bear if he felt all right. And was very surprised when the bear shouted out, How well, soon can we have another day out? And here is the next story. And this is called, This is the Bear and the Scary Night. Now, when you hear another sound, there will be an owl in a book because it's all part of a scary night. Are you ready? Once again, here we go. This is the bear and the scary night. This is the boy who forgot his bear and left him behind in the park on a chair. Bye bye. Wait for me. This is the bear who looked at the moon and hoped the boy would come back soon. Oh, I'm so hungry, and I want my supper. You're out late. This is the bear alone in the park. Oh, I'm good. These are the eyes which glowed in the dark. This is the owl who swooped in the night and gave the bear a terrible fright. Ooh, ooh. This is the bear. Up in the sky, this is the owl who struggled to fly. Put me down! These are the claws which couldn't hold on. And this is a bear who fell, oh no, into the pond. Oh no! Splash! This is a bear who floated all night. Oh, I'll never get out of here. This is a dark which turned into light. 
This is a man with a sly trombone who rescued the bear and took him home. Oh, look at you. Out you come. This is the bear in a warm blue sweater who made a friend and felt much better. I've been out all night. That's my sweater. This is the boy who remembered his bear and ran to the park and found him there. There you are. You again. This is the bear who started to tell how he flew through the air and how he fell. Where have you been? And how he floated and how he was saved and how he was terribly, terribly brave. And this is a boy who grinned and said, I know a bear who is ready for bed. And we hope you enjoyed the first two stories of This is the Bear. But of course, we've got two more coming up in the next part. So and I will see you in a minute, viewers. Bye for now.